guys and welcome to my channel today we are going to be talking about another favorite person of mine called Barbara Sprouse Palvin born on 8th of October 1993 she is a Hungarian model she first appeared in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue in 2016 in 2019 she became a Victoria's Secret Angel she is also an Armani Beauty Ambassador She was born on 8th of October 1993 in Budapest, Hungary. Her family consists of her father Istvan Pauvin, her mother Agnes Pauvin and her sister Anita. Pauvin often traveled to the countryside to visit her grandmother and grand-grandmother. When she was 13, she was discovered on the streets of Budapest by a modeling scout while walking with her mother. She shot her first editorial in 2006 for Spur magazine and subsequently moved to Asia where she maintained a steady stream of bookings. Since then, Pauvin has been on the cover of L'Officiel, France, Italy, Russia, Turkey, Thailand, Singapore, Vogue, Marie Claire, Glamour, Elle, Britain, Italy, Korea, Brazil and Argentina, Allure, GQ, Harper's Bazaar, Numero and many others. She has appeared in campaigns for Amani Exchange, H&M, Victoria's Secret and Bull and Bear. In February 2012, she became an ambassador for L'Oreal Paris. In 2016, she was revealed to be part of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Rookie Class. She also became the new face of Armani's signature scent Aqua Di Gioia. She is the face of Amazon Fashion and appeared on Express and Chaos advertising campaigns. Her runway debut was for Prada during Milan Fashion Week in February 2010. Pauvin has also worked for Louis Vuitton, Miu Miu, Nina Ricci, Emmanuel Ungaro, Christopher Kane, Julianne McDonald. Jeremy Scott, Jules de Camp, Vivian Westwood and opened the pre 2011 Chanel show. In 2012, she walked in the Victoria's Secret fashion show. She then began a very interesting career. She began branching out into acting after she appeared in 2014 film Hercules as mythological queen Auntie Mash. In 2016, she was ranked fourth in Maxim Hot 100. Tumblr's 2017 list of most popular models reported Bowen to be the second most popular model on the social media site. She then returned to the BS fashion show in 2018. And the next year, she became the first Hungarian Victoria's Secret Angel. Pauvin's curves and non-standard runway measurements have been considered by the media to be the brand's direction towards body positivity. Pauvin is often compared to Russian model Natalia Bertanova. British Vogue editor Miranda Almond said, We chose Barbara because she is absolutely exquisite looking a cross between Jan Brookshields and Natalia Bujanova. Bowing credits Bujanova and Kate Moss as her favorite models. Since 2018, she has been in a relationship with American actor Dylan Sprouse. They resided in Brooklyn until 2021, when they moved to LA. In June 2023, they announced that they were engaged since September 2022. And on 15 of July 2023, the couple married in the town of Albertirsa, Hungary, in the same church that Bowen's parents had also married in. Bowen took her husband's surname upon her marriage. Some of her filmography includes The Serpentine in 2022, Tiger Tiger. 2021 and Hercules in 2014. Supermodel 
Armani Beauty Ambassador and Big NBS Angel Barbara Bowen attended her f attended her first fashion awards in 2019, flying into London from her home city of New York for the occasion. I'm shockingly wearing Armani, she jokes. I showed him this outfit four months ago and fell in love with it and wanted it for the Venice Film Festival, but they promised it to somebody else. So when I saw it on the rack in my fitting room for the Fashion Awards, I was like that one. It gives you the perfect shape. She decided to match her beauty look to the gown's red embellished sleeves. I'm thinking of a smoky eye with a little glitter to it. The Hungarian native told us in her hotel room before the event. The result showed that her eye makeup achieved using the Armani Eyes to Kill Eye Quattro palette in number 1 and the Eye Tint Eyeshadow in number 43, a silver liquid eyeshadow. Deciding on her red carpet looks is a matter of a teamwork, she told us. I have my idea and then we collaborate. Did she ever regret a look? My bow, she laughs, referring to the blush pink hair band she showcased this year in Venice. No, not really. I wasn't sure at the time, but then it looked great. There have been times I've done the red carpet and haven't liked the photos the next day but it wasn't because I went so far with the look that it came out looking weird it's just that it wasn't my best day it's hard to believe even Bowen has less than perfect days this autumn was quieter than it would have been for the model given that the annual VS show was cancelled while the brand works on a new marketing strategy amid widespread criticism that its one-dimensional view of beauty is outdated. How did Bowen take the news? I was very disappointed. But they know what they are doing and I trust the process. I feel like the world is changing around us and everyone needs to go with it and that's their way of doing it. She is looking forward to the brand starting a new chapter though. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm sure there is some very exciting stuff she teased. That's all I can say. Bowen says her workout techniques come from her fellow VS stars, while her beauty tips come from the Armani teams and the countless glam squads she has worked with in her 13 year and counting career. Below, the 26-year-old shares her secrets. My favorite products are, I travel with my basic makeup. For the daytime, I use the Amani Luminous Silk Foundation because it's the most perfect coverage. It's not too much or too heavy. It gives you a natural glow. It's very easy to apply and I usually just put it in my hands like a moisturizer. Then I use concealer, a neutral eye palette and a mascara and the Armani New Nude Fashion Fusion Powder in a darker shade to my skin tone which I use as my contour it looks more natural for an event red carpet I would probably add a red lipstick like Mr. Armani's favorite shade 400 it's the most beautiful color You have to know how things will look on camera. Sometimes the stylist won't know how my hair works. For example, when I want to do a messy bun, I have to be careful of the placement because around my temples, I have very fair hair and the camera flash can bleach it out so you can't see it. It looks like I have no hair there, but it's just very, very blonde. It's the same with the skin. If the makeup artist doesn't use the right foundation, then my skin can look very transparent and you can see all the, all the veins and wrinkles. My skin feels very dry right now from flying. I mimic makeup artist techniques myself. I mimic everything I have seen from makeup artists. I'm pretty good. I started modeling when I was 13 so everything I know is from artists. Something that changed my life is contouring. I learned you should draw the number 3 
and a back to front three. On the other side of the face, to shade your jawline, your cheeks and your hairline around the forehead. I'm a big fan of natural beauty. I wish people wouldn't layer their makeup so much. Recently, when you see all their makeup, these makeup tutorials, it looks so, so much. I just like natural makeup. You can still highlight the parts that you love about your face with very minimal makeup. Traveling and hormones of baked my skin. With flying, my skin is not so good and I'm a woman so every month is, it gets me. But recently I started using a volcanic mask by Armani, the Crema Nero Reviving Volcanic Mask. You put it everywhere on your lips and eyes too, sit for 10 minutes and it just wakes you up and pulls everything into the right place. I do that before events and post flights. Facials don't work for me. My skin can break out from facials. Sometimes I want to do facials because they feel really good but I always break out. I even got acne once from doing a facial two years ago. Since then I just stick with massages when I want a treatment. Cutting my hair made life so much easier. I've got a lot of hair and it's very heavy at the ends. I had it so long forever and around 6 months ago we cut it. It's now so much easier, I have to worry less about my looks. Since then I've cut it back so many times because it just keeps growing. I did go chin length when I had a month off in August. I cut it and didn't tell anyone but by the time I came back to work it was back to normal length. You can use extensions if you need to cheat length. I do train like an angel. Dave Bowen's fellow VS angels all keep on saying that I have to find the one workout that works for my body type. Josephine Scriver and Jasmine Dukes are making videos of a lot of different workouts and I just try those and see if it works for me or not. Working out is such a huge part of my job. And they are testing it all on their bodies, which is good for me. I don't need to test it. I just see what works for them and try it myself. I work out up to six times a week. Today I didn't because I'm exhausted. But when I'm getting ready for an event, I would work out five or six times a week. But if I'm not getting ready, three times is enough. I think it's more about the food. My diet is really key to staying in shape, eating healthy and having a balance and not going crazy after a night out. I don't follow anything strict, it's an 80-20 diet, 80% healthy, 20% whatever I want. And then you don't guilt trip yourself because you need to treat yourself too. I drink whole milk every day. It's a Hungarian beauty ritual. My great grandma would tell me to drink a glass of milk every day to help for beautiful skin and I've been doing that every day since I was a little girl. Just dairy whole milk. Self-care rituals are also really important to me. I read a lot. It takes me away from the real world into a magical world. Or at the moment a deadly world because I'm reading a murder mystery. I go to my bedroom and sit down and read. I do love watching Netflix too, but since I was little, I would always read. In 2019, the model gave an interview revealing the cutest present Dylan Sprouse gives her every time they leave each other for work. It's Monday morning and the struggle is real. Even for Barbara Bowen, I'm in London and she is in Paris as we get on the phone to discuss her latest campaign for the couples, which she stars in alongside her boyfriend Dylan Sprouse. I just flew in from Tokyo, Barbara shares seeming a touch tired. I'm okay now, but in the afternoon I'm going to die. All in the name of a good time, Barbara laughs flashing a humor that is cornerstone of her character. Not only is 26-year-old Hungarian model lending herself to the campaign, she's turning into a designer and following in Irina Sheik's sketching footsteps by creating her own bag for the brand. Barbara certainly has the sales pitch to match the chicness of the aptly named Barbara bag. 
if you want a particular and sexy bag by the Barbara who knew it was possible to do pr practical and sexy I say well I did plus it's a magnetic opening so you don't have to worry about finding your phone I'm always struggling with that As a booked and busy girl on the run, the random item she carries everywhere is beyond cute. I do have a huge coin in my bag which is sentimental as Dylan gives it to me every time I leave him for work. Cue a stream of O's as Barbara references the relationship that started in the summer of 2018 when Dylan slid into her DMs. Thank you guys for watching this. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you're thinking down in the comments below. Bye!